Hi, I'm Katie Hill, and last night I announced the most difficult decision of my life, that I would be resigning from Congress. I made this decision so that my supporters, my family, my staff, and our community will no longer be subjected to the pain inflicted by my abusive husband and the brutality of hateful political operatives. This coordinated campaign carried out by the right-wing media and Republican opponents, enabling and perpetuating my husband's abuse by providing him a platform, is disgusting and unforgivable, and they will be held accountable. But I will not allow myself to be a distraction from the constitutional crisis we're faced with and the critical work of my colleagues. And so I have to take my personal fight outside the halls of Congress. Too many Americans are counting on Washington to fulfill our promises of quality health care, housing we can afford, and a government that works for the people. And I cannot let this horrible smear campaign get in the way of that work. To my supporters in our district and across our great country, please know that we did something incredible. We proved that an imperfect woman, the 31-year-old daughter of a nurse and a police officer, who never planned to run for office, has a place in the people's house. We showed the nation that there is hope even in the darkest of moments, that every single person deserves a chance and a voice, and that voters will believe and will rise to make that happen. We showed Washington that a grassroots campaign can propel a young woman into Congress without the help of big corporations and special interests that have for so long governed politics, and that this movement will change our broken political system forever. That matters, and it will always matter. I need you to know that my fight is not over. Those of you who know me know that I am a fighter. Before I came to Congress, I fought for the most vulnerable people in our community, working to end homelessness for individuals, veterans, and families. I fought to give a voice to those who for have too long been silenced or pushed into the shadows. I'm going to continue to fight for our democracy, for representation, for justice and equality, and for making the world a better place. And I will also take up a new fight. I will fight to ensure that no one else has to live through what I just experienced. Some people call this electronic assault, digital exploitation. Others call it revenge porn. As the victim of it, I call it one of the worst things that we can do to our sisters and our daughters. I am grateful for all of you who have spoken out about this in recent days. As I have before, I will stand up for those who cannot stand up for themselves, because there is one thing that I know for sure. I will not allow my experience to scare off other young women or girls from running for office. For the sake of all of us, we cannot let that happen. I'm hurt. I'm angry. The path that I saw so clearly for myself is no longer there. I've had moments where I've wondered what the last three years of my life were for and if it was worth it. I know that many of you feel the same. I never claimed to be perfect, but I never thought my imperfections would be weaponized and used to try to destroy me and the community I have loved for my entire life. For that, I am so incredibly sorry. I am so grateful for the outpouring of support that I've received. I grew up riding horses, and the most important thing that I learned was that when you fall off, you have to get right back up in the saddle. So I'm going to do that. I hope I can count on you to do the same and join me on the next ride.